It was a warm summer day. I was sitting in the cool shade underneath the dark blue umbrella. The carefree worries of childhood kept my legs swinging with glee. I had a rocky pop in my mouth, and I was playing my Game Boy. Sitting next to me on the bench was my friend Billy. He was also playing his Game Boy. We were playing separate versions of Pokemon, red and blue. Have you been able to move the truck and get me yet? I asked excited. No. Have you beaten the Elite Four 999 times to unlock the God Pokemon? Billy replied. Before I could get out my response the sound of a loud minibike came roaring down the street. The sound made me stop swinging my legs. I removed the popsicle from my mouth. My mouth opened in awe and me eyes widened in horror. My brother was flying down the road on a motorized bike that I did not recognize. He was screaming and swerving from side to side. He looked like he was seconds and inches away from losing control completely. Is that your little brother? Billy asked me. I gawped and my answer got caught in my throat. Yeah, I replied getting up to give chase. My mom was running down the street yelling after my brother. She was trying so desperately to tell him to hit the brakes. To no avail though. My brother was out of sight in moments. He rode the minute bike like a bucking bronco for three blocks. Cars and trucks honked and swerved to avoid my brother as he rocketed through intersections. I saw a male person nearly get ran over in while trying to catch their balance. They threw hundreds of letters into the air. My mother, Billy, and I were all chasing after my brother as fast as we could. By the time we finally caught up to my brother he was on his back. He had reached the end of the road. Literally, the block sled to a dead end and when the tire hit the curb, the minibike flipped and launched my brother nearly 15 feet onto his back. He landed so hard and skid so far, that a massive path of dirt could be seen. He tore up all the grass in a nearly three foot stretch. My brother was lucky to walk away fine. He still has a nice scar on his shoulder from the landing scrape. But totally fine. Come to think of it, I never did finish that rocky pop.